Hi, Summer here with Canna Advisors weekly update for April 27th, 2022. First off, hoping everyone is fully recovered from any fun 420 festivities you might have had last week. We're starting off with some good news on the federal level. President Joe Biden began commuting the sentences of 75 people who served time in federal prison for marijuana and other drug offenses. The clemency actually fell short of the mass cannabis pardons he promised on the campaign trail, but advocates see it as a first step. New York continues to do things its own way as regulators are now considering allowing pizzerias and other restaurants to sell cannabis infused foods. In cannabis, in Kansas, a medical marijuana bill could finally pass this week following a conference announcement. In New Hampshire, the Senate killed the state's adult use cannabis monopoly bill and postponed their home grow measure. In Puerto Rico, Medical Cannabis Regulatory Board stopped the issuance of dispensary licenses as a preventative measure and will now conduct a market study before releasing further licenses. In Kentucky, Governor Andy Bashir announced potential medical cannabis executive actions. The Senate president is pushing back and the representative who sponsored the stalled medical marijuana bill is worried the governor's move could give patients false hope. The commissioner of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services and three Florida residents have sued the US Department of Justice saying a federal rule barring medical marijuana patients from possessing firearms is unconstitutional. <clears throat> North Dakota's Secretary of State and Attorney General signed off on the language of a proposed marijuana legalization initiative, clearing activists to begin collecting signatures to place it on the November ballot. In New Jersey, mayors and state lawmakers are pushing back against an attorney general memo clarifying that police can use marijuana while off duty, but a federal law generally banning guns for cannabis consumers that the opponents are citing also has a little known exception for government employees like cops. In Maine, Governor Janet Mills signed a bill allowing reimbursements to, to municipalities of up to $20,000 to cover the procedural costs of allowing recreational marijuana businesses. And lastly, in Austin, Texas, voters can now begin casting their ballots to decriminalize marijuana and ban no-knock warrants. In-person early voting runs through May 3rd and election day is on May 7th. Those are the top news stories for the, for the last week. Thanks again for joining us for Can Advisors weekly legislative and licensing update. See you next week, bye.